Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Up. Oh. How about now? Can, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Uh, you still can't. Hello? Hello? Can you? Can you? Uh. Hi, I'm Mike Haney with PopSci.com. Today we're going to figure out a way to do away with that problem by making a cell phone antenna out of cans. So the first thing you need to do is uh, take off the bottom of one of the cans because we're going to solder them together and make sort of one continuous uh, cylinder. So take your trusty can opener. So get rid of that. Now you got a nice clean uh, thing there. We're going to put these together like so. If you don't feel like soldering, you can also use copper tape to do this. Put a little solder on these seams and see if we can get this thing to actually uh, hold together and just heat up the cans and then just lay down a bead of solder that covers both of the cans and it should hold together. Uh, see, I'm just using a lot of solder, letting it kind of drip in there in between and uh, just to make sure these things hold together. That's really the important part. And the next step that you'd need to do with this is to put a hole in where we're gonna put in the uh, antenna parts. So what you're gonna wanna do is measure 97 millimeters up from the closed off and stab through cut out, make yourself a nice clean hole. Once you've got, uh, once you've got the hole in there, you're going to need to prepare your uh, antenna parts that you're going to put inside. We're going to do just a little bit more soldering for that. This is the part that actually holds the, the antenna. The antenna in this case is really just a little piece of copper wire. You can get this just about anywhere, sort of Radio Shack. You might have some just laying around the house. And there's a little receptacle for it in here. And all you need to do is just stick it inside that receptacle. We're going to heat up the parts and then we're just gonna drop a little solder into it so that the hot parts are what are actually melting the solder and not the iron itself. So now we've got our, our copper wire in there. That's the part that we need to go inside of the can because that's what's gonna grab the uh, cell phone signals. So really just take it, stick it in. It should sit flush against that little part. You can see that it's inside the, uh, the can there sticking up. Now you need to reach inside the can and take this little nut that you bought and just screw it. Once you've screwed on that nut and kind of secured this well in place, um, next thing you want to do is take your pigtail. Now this is the part that you bought specifically for your model of phone, but every, on every one that you buy, this end's going to be the same. Really just as simple as screwing it on like that. Now you've really got the basics of your antenna and all that's left to do is plug it into your phone. You're probably thinking, well, where am I going to plug this into my phone? It doesn't work. Well, every phone actually has, on the back of it, a little rubber port like this. And if you've never ripped it off and seen what's behind it, what's behind it is actually a place to plug in an external antenna. So as though the cell phone companies anticipated that the reception would suck and someday we'd have to do this. Um, so you see there's a little hole back there. It fits perfectly if you bought the right one. Plugs into there. Now all you got to do is take this thing around. Hold it outside your window. Once you've gone again to wirelessadvisor.com, it's going to be a map. It's going to show you where the closest 1900 megahertz tower is because that's the signal we're capturing with this sucker. Aim it at that tower. Even if it's a long ways away and you can't see it, you're still going to get those frequencies. Make your calls. You'll have great reception. And that's all there is to it. I'm Mike Haney with PopSci.com, and here's wishing you clear calls. <laughs>